Ah yes, it is time once again to review all the goodies I got for my cats from Tamu. So previously, we only had May to judge our Temu merchandise, but this time we have a newcomer, Mimi, who's a kitten who loves toys, so we are going to have her opinion as well. The first item I got was a wand toy that has a little attachment, and it also has a suction cup that you can put on a glass or any kind of smooth surface. Mimi liked the toy at first. But then something must have happened while I wasn't looking because it made her terrified. So recently I put a different attachment on it. As expected, May could not care less. The next item was this UFO toy which uh, can spin around and can also have little fuzzy things coming out of it. And it can also um, move around the room. So it just charges easily via battery and it's not anything... Um, that you need to get batteries for. Um, Mimi liked it a lot. May kind of got confused, especially when it was actually moving around the room. But most of the time, only Mimi plays with it. May's not really sure. I initially got it because my mom said her cat liked it, but then I later found out that her cat was terrified of it. So ultimately, I think it's a hit or a miss depending on your cat. The next item was a butterfly that spins on a metal wire in a circle. It actually needs three AA batteries to run, and it sucks the batteries out very fast. Within a week of casual use, all three batteries were completely dead. Mimi and May both seemed to enjoy this, though Mimi was hogging it most of the time. I guess Mimi kinda got bored of it, as lately she's not into it anymore. Also, I guess it must be really popular, because initially I had to even pre-order it from Temu, and now, once again, it is sold out. The next two items I got were two wand-type toys. One had pom-poms together on a stick, while the other had some pom-poms attached to a string which was attached to the stick. For some reason, the big pom-pom stick is listed as discontinued on Temu. I wonder what happened. Mimi, of course, likes all stick toys, but she especially took a liking to the one with the little star on the end of the string. It's actually one of her favorite stick toys now. May, as usual, did not care. The next thing was one of those electronic fish that moves around like a fish out of water. Honestly, it scared both of my cats that I asked for a refund. Eventually, Mimi would bat at it a little bit, once in a while, but overall it was definitely a no from both cats. I see this toy advertised all the time and I'm honestly surprised that any cat would like it. It feels like it should be a dog toy if anything. As you saw in the intro of this video, I got this plastic mouse interactive toy. The mouse basically moves in a random pattern in a circle. Mimi actually quite liked this one a lot, and sometimes they would play with it too. Unfortunately, after a while, Mimi got bored of it quickly, so I have to make sure to rotate it more frequently. The only real annoyance is it also uses batteries, so you have to change them out every once in a while. Because it was cheap, I decided to get one of those wind-up chicks as a toy for the cats. Unfortunately, it really didn't interest them that much, and the movement would only last about 15 seconds before you have to wind it up again. I put it away for now, but I get the feeling this one is going to be as useless as the floppy fish. The next thing I got was one of those spinny ball toys. We had one from Christmas that was kind of falling apart, so I decided to get this one as it was much cheaper than buying it from a pet store in the US. Unfortunately, I didn't put it together correctly, so actually one of the pieces at the top I ended up not putting on because once you snap the parts in, they're not coming apart. I was afraid I was gonna just break the whole thing, so I just gave up and used it as is. Mimi absolutely went bonkers over it, and it will frequently pull the balls out of it to play around with all over the house. She also loved the feather on top. May, as usual, didn't really care for it, but I know that she was super into the old ball toy when she was younger, so it must just be an age thing. And last but not least is this big yellow bed I got for May. Why May? Because Mimi has claimed May's old bed for herself, and will now knead and suckle in it if I put her in there. Therefore, I decided to buy a big bed for May to stretch on. Ultimately though, Mimi will frequently go into whatever bed May is in to snuggle with her anyway. Therefore, it's good to have two large beds because then snuggling can happen with them in either one. The bed was about $30, which is pretty decent price, and it's a cute design I had not seen anywhere else. It easily washes in my washing machine and dries in the dryer. It's very cushioned and soft, and both keys appear to give it two paws up. The only downside is currently it's sold out on Temu. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.